Finally. This day has finally arrived, and I'll get to set sail on my own, with my own ship. I've fought for this opportunity for so long, and now I can barely believe this day is here. I feel like a little child, filled with uncontrollable excitement. It'll be a long journey, and I'll miss my family, I know. But I've got to do this. I have to prove my worth. Not just to my family, but to myself. I'll be shipping some goods to a large city for trade. I've never been there before, but it's rumored to be full of opportunity and wealth. At least I won't have to be there alone. My cousin, Kedar, has been trading in the city for a while, and I have some cargo for him. We used to play together when we were kids. I haven't seen him in so long, but he wants me to visit his new shop. I've missed Kedar. I look forward to this challenge, and I know that whatever may lay ahead, Linjala will watch over me, and I'll enjoy every minute of my adventure, even with the dangerous waters and approaching storms. Until you get back. I was just on my way down to the docks. You're early. I've missed you. It just isn't the same at home. Huh. I've missed you too, Sayer. I just go by Zaya now. I'm not a kid anymore. Come on, I'll take you back to my shop. I think you're really gonna like the city, Zaya. It's full of promise. You'll see. I can't wait to see. Close to me. It's pouring out here. It may be pouring out here, but the city doesn't look as dangerous as I've heard. These streets are deserted. Well, I guess most of the city's not too bad, except for the poor section over to the west. There are some places there not even the city watch will go. Still, I wouldn't go out by yourself. The city's no place for a stranger. 
especially at a time like this. You're gonna have to tell me all about your trip when we get back, Saya. It's been so long since I've seen anyone from the family. I sure hope this weather lets up soon. Come on, Zaya, there'll be time to look around later. Let's go! Don't worry, the shop's not too far from here. I can't remember the last time a morning looked this dark. You know, just a couple streets over to the west of where we are right now, I had a friend tell me he saw a ghost. Really? Would you believe it? Some of the old buildings over there are supposed to be haunted. Hey, why are the day gates closed? What's going on here? Hey, we got an intruder! This isn't such a good idea. Come on, man. She's cornered. I'm not going in there. Are you crazy? That place is haunted. Yeah. I've heard some stories. It's not haunted. Then you go in there. Is 
Research Depository will help you open this door. Search well.
as the falling death. Then he chose right most, though not right he was. Who are you? I don't understand why you're helping me. the safe passage. Careful! Search the secret to remove the danger. Patience, young girl. Do not let your quickness and your youth guide you.
Suppress your pride. Kneel by the Guardian. I am Malik. You are in trouble, yes? You come here to seek safe harbor. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Say nothing of thanks, but sit a while and tell me of your woes. It isn't so simple as that, Seiya. You will never again feel whole if you do not obtain vengeance for what was done to you and your cousin. But it, it just doesn't seem quite right. I'm not a murderer or a thief. I can't just walk into a place and take information. You learn how. I will teach you. Have you never killed a man? Well, once. But it was a pirate trying to sneak off with our family's ship. He deserved his fate. As your cousin's murderers deserve theirs. This is an unclean city, Zaya. The wicked and venomous thrive here. And you are but one in a line of many who have suffered at their hands. I want revenge. Yes. But isn't there a simpler way? There is no other way. Your cousin is dead. You cannot go home. And even if you could, you would shame your family by not exacting revenge. Kadar's blood stains your hands. But it is up to you. If you want to live with that burden, then it is yours. I cannot force you to take the revenge that belongs to you and you alone. Star is dead. I am not. I'll make them pay for what they've done. This greedy, foul city will taste it too.
It's amazing what skills one can learn in a year. Malik is a good teacher and has taught me many things, such as how to walk among the shadows, as he calls it. I've also honed my skill with a variety of weaponry, just in case I need to protect myself. Malak says since I've been training hard and with determination, he's decided to give me a little test. I'm supposed to sneak into a local museum that Malak says is relatively easy to get into. Though there are many things I could steal that might aid in my quest, Malak has reminded me that he is not a fence, and selling high-priced items would bring us even more unwanted attention. It's just as well, I'm not that confident in my abilities yet. My main target is this book. Apparently it's a fairly old book, which has a large deal of notes on the city buildings of its time. He didn't explain it much. He just said it was ideal for our plans to get revenge. I hope he'll explain more later. I have no reason not to trust him on this. And make certain that the third painting is straight. It's always crooked. Every time I walk by, it's crooked. How is it possible that I have the most important museum in the city, and I have a crooked painting? Yes, Mr. Limes. I will attend to it right away. Is there anything else? Hmm. Yes. I'll be setting up the new display around the dragon statue, now that I've finally had the head reattached. See to it that a space is cleared and that the other displays from crates 2, 7, 8, and 11 are brought up. They complement the statue nicely. Yes, sir. Anything else? No. You are dismissed. Can't find any good help these days. I'd better make certain he does the job proper. A restored dragon statue? That's odd. I'd better take a look at that head. It might just be the artifact I brought here so long ago.
is hey. Ooh. He looks a little too big to pick up. Fixing it again.
see you've already cleared a space for the new arrivals. Yes, sir. I'll need you to bring in the statues from the storeroom. I'll show you where Mr. Limes wants them. Which ones would you like? Mr. Limes was quite specific. Bring crates 2, 7, 8, and 11. Mr. Limes will help you place them tomorrow when he arrives. Number 8? Yes, it's a newly restored statue. I think it would look nice in purple. Uh, purple? Sorry, we can't change the color. Just go get the items. Uh, uh yes, sir. What is that? Okay, chamber pots brown. Hey. I don't know. I think he looks old. That makes it a bad painting. Old? Bad painting? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard.
jobs. I've already fixed it twice. I'm not fixing it again.
Did I really see that? Okay, chamber pots brown, flower pots blue. That's the Uara statue. That's one of the artifacts I brought. I really need to find out more about what's going on here.
I'm gonna catch you. Oh, now you're all mine. Oh. 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 Take that.
I never thought I'd be piecing together a puzzle like this. At least Lime's office provided me with some more information. This is opening up old wounds. But I knew this day would come. Malak was training me to avenge Kedar. Smugglers. Come on, they have to be man. the ones that killed him. <laughs> but why? What did he have that they didn't? I don't even know where they are. There's only one way to find out. I have to search the city market area and find Kadar's shop. Hopefully there will be a, a clue, or some kind of information I can use to find out who these smugglers are, and where they're hiding from me. There's a dusk to dawn curfew, so I'll need to avoid the city watch. Nevertheless, it's better if I go at night. Fewer stragglers around to notice my illegal entrance into Gadar's shop and the surrounding areas. And they won't appreciate someone breaking into a store, even if there's a valid reason. There is a main gate to the district, but there's probably another way in. Not to mention the sewers. The stench isn't something I look forward to. At any rate, I have no idea where Kadar's shop is, but I seem to recall him mentioning that it was in a building with some other shops. If what I've been able to gather is true, it will probably be somewhere on the east side of the district. Before he scurried away for the day, Malak gave me something he called an elemental catalyst. I'm not quite sure what it does, but he said it worked with the crystals on my arrows. I guess I'll figure it out as I go along. It's been a year. But I still feel a deep sorrow when I think of Kadar's death. It's going to be difficult to enter his shop, but I must. I've been avoiding thinking about where he would have taken me on that fateful day, but no more. It's time to begin. <laughs> 